Friday has arrived. It may be payday for you. It's been a hot and humid and somewhat stormy week, and now we have a 10 on the weather meter, so we get to ring the cowbell, I guess. Uh, it is going to be gorgeous for this Friday and throughout Mother's Day weekend, only gradually warmer by Sunday. Dry air, lower humidity. This may be the most refreshing weekend that we have in several months. So take it in. Enjoy it. A lot going on. The auto show has returned. The Jumbo Shrimp have a long home stand. The home and patio show, or home and garden show, rather, uh, on this Friday. Music events happening all over the metro area as well. Wall-to-wall -wall sunshine, clear skies, and very comfortable, mild afternoons. It may actually uh, be near record territory for lows early on Saturday morning. Chief Meteorologist Mike Burrish says the pattern turns wetter, stormier, and more humid for much of next week. You can get his latest podcast episodes in the WOKV app and hear his five-day forecast on Jacksonville's morning news every 15 minutes. Corrine Brown, former Jacksonville Democratic Congresswoman and a key figure in Florida Democratic politics for a very long time, is no longer convicted, uh, a convicted felon in the eyes of the law as an appeals court divided uh, has uh, tossed out the corruption conviction. Uh, we documented the story in detail more than four years ago. In fact, it was almost four years to the day that she was convicted in federal court in Jacksonville. Now, the interesting thing here is um, uh, the ruling focused on how the trial judge in 2017 got rid of a juror who had said that the Holy Spirit told him that Brown was not guilty. So it wasn't the evidence necessarily. And that may be a really key thing in whether or not the government decides to hold another trial. Remember, Brown served at least two years of that five-year federal prison sentence. So a lot of questions still to be answered in the coming days and perhaps weeks ahead. We're documenting all of that at WOKV.com and hearing from you in the open mic in the WOKV app. Uh, the other big story locally that we're continuing to follow will be in St. Augustine, where mask requirements will no longer be enforced in city properties, though the city manager is continuing to push for everyone to be respectful of one another, obviously with mask wearing, social distancing, and more. A lot to happen this weekend. Make sure you are with us uh, for the updated First Alert forecast on 104.5 FM. Get our breaking news alerts when you download the free WOKV app. Have a great weekend. And to all the moms, happy Mother's Day from all of us at WOKV.